let's talk about Bows Fall 2023. Ready to wear. Let's go. Wow. doing we hope that you're doing fashionably well we're here to talk about boss fall 2023 the collection was a mix of actual fashion yes technology yeah reminded me a lot of the startup industry yeah. and how that inspired the entire show yeah the head designer marco he was on a flight coming back from miami mm -hmm. for a show they did over there back in like uh february or march and on the plane he was watching the film being john malkovich and there's a scene in that movie where everyone's wearing like, you know their office attire and while he's watching it he said to himself oh my goodness everyone in this scene looks like they could be wearing boss so he got off the plane when he got back home, got off the plane, and he was so inspired. He ran with that. I also read that he was inspired a bit by Working Girl, which is, of course, the 80s classic. And that, that inspired him. And, of course, the tech world clearly inspired him, sorry, as well. Being uh, the both of us, when we're not talking about fashion, we actually both work at startups. We so <laughs> we're technically tech girls. We're tech and, fashionistas. Yeah, and it's interesting to see that this entire culture was wrapped into this show yeah. with a whole boardroom going on a guy meditating, a guy meditating robots, robots being working ai and keep it tech techy tech, tech it was tech like stuff. tech world let's take a look at the looks that we want to talk about let's get into this let's do it all right so starting with look one by yo our girl come through gg yeah, Gigi really did a good job with opening this show. We don't usually comment a lot on the models in the shows, of course, mm -hmm. um, because truly the models are there to make the clothes look cool. That That is That's the job. job. Uh, she really worked it with this business suit. What I love about the suit that we're looking at now, and something that I like to see, I love a, a skirt suit. And there's not enough of there's them. There's not enough. We have so many pantsuits and yeah. I'm here for it. Yes. But the skirt suit, y'all. The skirt suit is such, it's also a power move. Like, yes, it we is. know women look fantastic in a pants suit, but they can, we can look just as great, sometimes better in this feminine yet masculine skirt suit and the, the, the deconstructed collar. Yeah, the collar. I loved. Hello. The blouse underneath how yes. it's opened. It's got the same kind of tie situation you would have on a button down. Right. But it's all disheveled and it, it, it which is pretty much which is our life. <laughs> yeah and I really like the fact that it's disheveled yet she is walking like she owns everything and I think that that's very symbolic. Very. To the outfit she's wearing. I agree. Yes. On the fashion side of it, I love this pinstripe action that we're seeing here on the gray. I think yes. that's really something modern other than black pinstripe, which is what we're used to. That's it. And the cool thing too is pinstripe, it's been around for like ever. So you can buy all the pinstripe you want from high end to low end and everything in between. You will never go out of style. Pinstripe is such a winner look in any season occasion pinstripe for the win. You could take this gray mm -hmm. and wear it in the spring. Yes. Yeah, that's true. You can. Next look. What I love here, and I'll start from the bottom. The bottom up. <laughs> yeah. The pants with that slit. Back in the day, I can't remember like what year exactly. Remember, remember there was a time when pants, I don't know if they were bell bottom or something. It wasn't too yes. long ago. It wasn't too long ago, but yeah, they had the slit. They had the skinny leg that had like a little slit. And like way, way back, I think it was like sometime in the 90s, they had like wide leg as well with mm. slits on the side. Mm. It just added more movement when people yeah. were walking. It's such a stellar look. Now seeing it in an office setting like this, that is very cool. Very interesting. Yeah. I do like this blazer as well. Mm -hmm. It's kind of more like it's a it's wrapped like a double like a, breast. Right. But it's actually just one it's a clasp, clasp like a button off to the side. I love the length of that suit, of course. And then the blouse underneath being able to take that tie and just tie it over once and let it flow. So YSL. Yes, Love it is. It. It's a very sharp look. Love and of it. course, with the separates, 
you have that flexibility to wear these pants with something else, wear the jacket with someone else, with something else. Yes. And it's in brown. I mean, you can. I was gonna say. Don't sleep on brown. Don't. And for all our black girls and brown girls, don't you sleep on brown either. No. We, we can rock any color, including brown. Next up. Next look. All right, here we go. Some more pant action with what we see here, right? Yeah, so these pants have sort of like the kind of overlay kind of skirt thing on top. Right. I think that that's really cool, especially for I'm not sure if that will ever become full-on business attire. Mm. We've seen it a lot. It's a very trendy look, and it, it might is. be a bit too trendy for Maybe. some offices. Maybe some, like, a, like a law firm or right. something. Yeah. Might yeah. be a little bit much. Yeah. But Maybe if you work for a fashion house, yeah, or exactly. You work at a cool, right? Like a kind of laid back ad agency. Yes. Yeah, that'd be cool. You know, I sort think. Of thing. Can, yeah. Love this play on the blouse. Blouse is um, nice. It's very drapey. It's reminding me of YSL yes. men's. Yes. That was um, a great collection. Yeah, which was a great collection where the men. They did a lot of more what you would say is more of a feminine look mm -hmm. to the uh, top. To the top blouse. To the blouse. And um, that's kind of what I see here on the model. Yeah. Um, the one thing that I'm like, mm. and I'm wondering, I don't know if Boss is ever going to sell this or if this was just a style. Creative thing. Yeah, thing. But these arm thing. Like arm warmers? It's like leg warmers, <laughs> but they're for your arms. I know sometimes I... it can be cold up in the office. It can be like free a freezer box. So maybe for the girl that's wearing a fly outfit like this, right? But doesn't want to wear a sweater. Doesn't want to wear no like sweater. They want to show it. it, but it's like maybe it's like a short sleeve or sure. she can pull it up over her sleeve. <laughs> Listen, we're, we're pulling from a rock. <laughs> Come through with this skirt. Yeah, I come think, on. I think this look is one of my favorites from the collection. Yes. We've got to start with this skirt. We have to. It's just screaming. It's the first thing you see. Yes. Right? When you see this photo. Yes. All eyes on the skirt. This skirt, it's a pebbled leather kind of, mm. you know, could be like crocodile or, right. you know, something like that. Right. And the way how the light is hitting it. It makes it, like you said, it makes it really stand out amongst the wool and the other fabrics. Yes. In this layering beauty that we see here. Right? Be still my beating heart. Thump, yes. Thump, thump, thump. I love it. I love that um, the layering, like you were mentioning before, Car. And I also love that, you know, the top is like a navy blue. So they're, they're mixing everything together. Yeah. It's not just black, brown, black. They're bringing all the sauces together and showing that you can still look stylish with darker colors in the fall. You don't have to succumb to all black. As much as we love a black, whew, it's, this is cool how they broke it up. And yeah. then that neck, green neck, like a neck uh, warmer thing. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for the look. I love it. I think it's business, but it's also casual and it's very realistic and very ready to wear. Especially in Canada. Now this, this was a look where we chose it because we have questions. I don't, I, I, I get it. I know it's a skirt right. at the top of, and we were, I'm assuming a belt. Yeah. I just don't, I just don't like it. Yeah, oh, there was something like about it. this look when it first came and I was like, mm. and I think that it has, a, a, first of all, the gray skirt right. flashes a bit too much with the gray blouse. Yeah. And we're all for, for like, I agree with you. I know that, you know, we're all about exploring and experimenting yeah. with different shades, you know, all, all good on that. But sometimes when you put two things together and no matter how hard you try, it just doesn't work. Yeah, looking at this look, I wish that that button down blouse was the same color as her shoes. Ooh, that would've been nice. The cream or the yes. off white with that that gray there. Yes. That would've looked I, nice. And I, I think that would've, that would've saved taken the, the look. look to a whole other plate. I think each piece separately. Separately, they're a win. Right. Yeah. Together, they're, they're, inter they're different. Oh, this is the same color, isn't it, as right. the skirt? It's a beautiful It's a beautiful gray. color. It's a beautiful color. Um, Grayish tan. I yeah, and this is full leather, so 
here for that. Gray leather is something that's very rare. And beautiful. And it, oh it's gosh. beautiful here. Mm -hmm. um, we've been talking a lot about trenches and long coats yeah. uh, for, uh, fall for fall and, and going into spring. Yes. And this is just an example of how that can be done. And the variety of variety that's going to be available to you all from Girl. faux, real leather, oh, wool, corduroy, oh, silk. It's gonna be out there and you can really pick and choose whatever you want. That's very minimal. There are like no buttons shown anywhere on this piece. It's just all about the lapel and like just straight lines. That's it, not even lines, just a straight cut. It's all about the boots here, everybody. It's just yes. about your, your footwear. That's and it. if you wanna wear like a cool, like here we have somewhat of a scarf like a choker shirt. situation. Yeah. Uh, you could wear like a chunky chain. chain. Like, mm, yes. Oh, listen, there's a few boss looks in this collection that are just like, oh, I like, can't that's talk. Boss. Yeah. Here's one of those looks. This is just another boss. Like, the burgundy. Or right. ox blood, whatever the person, I guess, wants to right. call it. I think there is a difference. Yeah, I would say this is more ox blood. Ox blood? Okay. Yeah. Oh, because burgundy's maybe burgundy's more bright. Is a bit more bright. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Yeah. More of an ox blood. I think. And we think. Don't, don't. Mm. <laughs> Maroon and burgundy right. are technically two different colors. Two different One has colors. more purple in it than the other, which has more brown. Okay. If it's separate, you can definitely wear it into the spring. Not everyone's gonna be into bright colors or whatever. Right. This is great for that person, and it's so office friendly. Yeah, like, imagine the CEO, is... a feminine psycho, any CEO. Just... What I do love about this look too is that it can be worn as an evening piece as yeah. well because of the fabric being a silk, you know, nice shiny fabric. You know what kind of realizing now? I think the the, oh, the neck, the, neck the thing scarf goes thing goes through, through the lapel right, of the okay. collar. So you can totally put your gold jewelry on and wear this to something like a black tie event or um, a cool party that you're going to. This could be worn. So you could wear something that's super comfortable, but also looks extremely like fancy and expensive. Okay, so we're back on the train of what exactly is going on here. The, the arm um, warmers are back, but it doesn't make sense this time because she has no sleeves. So, so why, <laughs> yeah. why are you wearing arm I, warmers? I really do think that this is more of a thing where they were like, we need to make it fashion, so let's do this thing. Um, like the styling, like a, yeah. Yeah, like you know styling, what I mean? Creativity, yeah. things coming to mind to make it look more fashion. Yeah, and if for some reason during the show I noticed only at this point was the hosiery mm. and this idea you know that wow this is really a full-on office look yeah. the leather belt really stands out in this look and i think it's because the colors that were chosen yeah and i do love the leather belt i think that's awesome if you if there was one thing i wanted to get from boss i would say you know what i love that belt the belt is definitely the winning piece of this entire look. You know what they should do for everyone that buys an outfit? They just throw the arm warmers for free in there. Nice look. I love this. Girl, everything about this look is right. This is stunning. The slit, the way how they styled it with the, the um, blouse coming through. Yeah. Come on. It's basically like a blazer dress, but yeah, not. But not. Because it's not blazing, you know? It doesn't have the buttons. It's a, it's a dress. It's a dress that has a lapel, but the lapel is, you know, inward. Like inward. it's not out, it's inward. And then that blouse coming out of it from the V. And I hope that this inspires more uh, designers to do more things like this. Cause I feel like it is time to turn the, you know, um, blazer dress on its head. Yeah. I think just about every single brand by this time has a, their own version of a blazer yes. dress. So when you see it one too many times, you're like, okay, I get it. Love it. And I love the play on the color, choosing something super light rather than black or navy. True. I think it actually, the color of taupe here makes it actually stick out more and you see more of the details. I think the movement in the fabric is beautiful. Um, and again, that kind of, 
peekaboo effect of having yeah. the bra underneath and you know being able to see that. Um, I think it's cute. You know what else, Cara? This, um, this color of gray is not a very common one. No, it's not. Especially when you see it in satin. It, I mean, there's all kinds of shades of gray. Yeah. No. <laughs> Apparently 50 shades. A certain number of them. Anyway, this shade, this shade is actually really beautiful. And I don't feel like it gets enough respect because, you know, you're used to seeing the light, the yeah. dark charcoal kind of gray. But this kind of, I guess, like a steel. Yeah. I kind of do find that certain colors, because it's not produced, a lot in fast fashion. Yeah. So we don't get to see it a lot. Green used to be one of those colors where yes, you would never see green. Very true. You never see green. That's you know, true. It could be your favorite, you know, one of my favorite colors and you wouldn't see it anywhere. Yeah. Now you can find it because, you know, it showed up enough on the fashion runways Boy, to, you know. yeah, to wear all of the fast fashion now has picked it up. I think it's a great, oh, I yes. think it's a great holiday color. She literally looks like she missed the bus and she's trying to walk. <laughs> She's trying to walk in style to the next stop. Like, it, it, I love the jacket, I love the blouse, I love the skirt. I think it's I a love bit the too much almost going on. Not, yeah, but it's, yeah, it's too much. Um, the the skirt, blouses are fire too. That's yeah, funny. the skirt, I don't know if there was a fitting issue. It looks like it's almost too big for her model. Could have been, yeah. Um, and I think that's a leather belt again in white, which is mm. cute. Again, I like this blouse, and the jacket looks like it's kind of like a velvety yeah, it looks like fabric, it's a which I'm here for. It's like that little girl that's like the receptionist, and she's being told to go to like the photocopier. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> this look reminds me. Um, make like a thousand Elizabeth people. Moss in Mad, Mad Men. Yeah, when, you what know, she the would first wear. and second and like maybe third season, she was just like the meek little secretary. Little secretary. If she was in the eighties, or, yes, or the now, now, this is what this she is what would she would be wearing. I do it's like cute. the styling here though, because putting that sort of blouse under a sweater like this, or even if it was a zip up, let's say, Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's really cute. So this is a great way to kind of style yourself differently, but mm -hmm. still keep in the realm of, you know, uh, showing up modestly, showing yeah. up looking business-like. I loved this. I love the belt. Is that a belt she has on around? Yeah, the, yeah. the, the black of the silver yeah. accessor, the silver detail, the purse, the, yeah, this, no, this skirt, the look. boots, the, this whole thing is a win. Once again, here we go. Yeah, that, wow. I, I yeah, <laughs> not much to say. That's it. I love it. It's a beautiful um, look. I love the color of the skirt. It's kind of like a brown burgundy yeah. sort of look. Yeah, and noticing too with her top, it's the mm. same kind of grayish teal, like a yeah, steel. Yeah, that's steel. And I also think she has another top underneath, uh, on top of it. I don't yeah. know if it's like a bustier or a yeah. tank, whatever it may be. But, but, but I love that love layering. That. Yeah, right. Very cool. Um, the layering in this show is. Perfection. We were say, I said to you all before, there's some looks in this show that just scream boss, like literally boss, CEO, founder, yes. boss. <laughs> and this right here, look at that coat. Look at those shoes. Yeah, Who cares coat, what she's wearing underneath? The shoes. She's even got an umbrella, y'all. She's the, not letting the, the rain the sun, stop her. The, the glasses. So the glasses for the sun and the umbrella for the rain. Right. Make sure you get that killer coat for your fall winter. You can get faux, you can get real, you can do whatever you feel like you can afford or what you feel compelled to. Go for it. That powerful <laughs> shoulder, shoulder um, the boots, that color of boot, the creamy gray, slight weak color. I and how it goes with the bag. It's just a yeah, nice off-white cream bag. The glass slick back hip. Just stop. Stop, boss. This is a look where it's about the coat. And anyone can do this. You can even go into your closet right now and find a coat that's either long or if it was not as long as this, you can recreate this look and it's totally accepted at the workplace. Yeah, I love this and I love the pant. The pant looks like it's more like a bootleg, a, um, a leather bootleg, which is lovely. And then underneath she's wearing like a cream top that yeah. has a crossover yes. uh, with this stunning jacket that kind of has the shell of like a rain jacket. Yeah, it's like a peg shape. Yeah, it's very it nice. has a bit of leather on leather the lapel. Interior there. And it's just a lovely modern look um, of a coat. Yeah. Mm. So this is white on top of cream. 
which so, it, yeah it depends on sometimes it might work for some things and sometimes it may not unfortunately from what we're seeing here it doesn't look like it's working the way i think they maybe envisioned it to work yeah i don't love it I don't it's love one it of the you know when you think of what they've been trying to do with matching the mint green with the brown, brown and the cream and doing navy with this and that and then they have white and cream and it's just like mm. i wish that they didn't have the white jacket because it's yeah it's, it's it's my like that jacket's ruining yeah the my issue is this white jacket on yeah top. if they could just i think that they should have off. just yeah they should have just had that look as is in the cream with that black belt yeah that ooh. i don't think I the see white that. jacket is doing anything no this. it's not i agree Oh, okay, ma'am. Once again, another, like, honestly, for fall, make sure you get yourself a stylized coat. It's gonna save you so much for the fall and winter. It looks like a dress, but it's a coat. Look, once again, at the neck there. Yeah. And how it goes through the lapel of the jacket. Yeah. And then it looks like it just expands and it's attached to the yeah. coat. Yeah, yeah. So you have to literally put it on, I guess, like, over your head. <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> However sure. You do it. There, there you're gonna figure it out and you're gonna make it work because this coat is worth it. Yeah, it's a beautiful, again, we have another beautiful coat here. And I love the cream. I think yes. the one thing I love about this collection is how, how Boss went ahead and used cream as a, like one of the primary colors in the collection mm -hmm. and the suiting here the, the just right very well tailored i think it would be so cool to go to the people of boss and get a blazer or a coat like this like just custom Absolutely. made to your body because if it's fitting the model like this and it wasn't made for this model okay so imagine what it would look like if you were to go and they measure you custom made and make it custom oh your body now if you enjoyed this video we invite you to join this family simply by commenting liking and of course subscribing to our channel we would love to have you we love to talk about fashion oh fashion gosh, news we're just out here so fashion geeks for life that's it join us thank you so much for watching this video we hope to see you during the next one until then have the best day night evening wherever you are love you lots and we'll all chat soon